What's up guys, Tiger Designs here, or Tiger Bait, and I'm bringing you a Tiger Tots episode 4, or 5, I think it's 4. Anyway, it's basically for, like, it's to show you how to use a neon effect, or a glowing effect, or whatever you want to call it. I call it a neon effect because the guy I made it for, Picturized Envy, or Pix Envy, one of my friends, uh, he, you know there's things at the bar, like uh, neon signs, like Budweiser, Bud Light, like all that. He wanted a background kind of like that, like with the neon effect. So I tried my best to make it. And you can make this neon effect for like other things, like uh, a 1280 by 720 or whatever, like this. I'll show you how to. I'll show you how to um. Do it for a 1280 by 720 because you're going to have to adjust some of the settings, I think. I'm not quite sure because I, I've never done it for a 1280 by 720. I just know that it may affect the glowing or the lighting. Anyway, so I'm just going to show you on a partnered background. And you can also do it for other ones, obviously, like unpartnered and all that because you can do it for anything. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and delete these because I'm going to start from scratch for you guys. There we go. Okay. Let me delete this. Wait. Oops. There we go. Keep that clear layer style. Clear this. Okay. So, here's what you're going to want to start off. So, you have your thing. Okay. You have your PNG, JPEG, whatever you, whatever you got. And what you're going to want to do is choose a bright colored thing. Okay. So, as you can see, it's the color I chose is right right around in this area okay and I wouldn't suggest choosing dark like even though you might think because of like the glowing you will make it brighter but it actually screws up the shading and the lighting a lot so I figured out that a, a lightly colored one will work so I guess I'll just do blue for you guys okay let's go to color overlay. My mouse is screwing up. Don't know why. Okay, so we got this rasterized layer. Okay, so once we got this, you're gonna wanna do whatever, position it anywhere, and then duplicate the layer, okay? Once you have this, okay, put down the fill to zero, okay? Go to this one, the bottom one. Actually, you know what? I'll show I'll show you the difference of how it how it affects the background later. So I'm not gonna do anything to the bottom one just yet. So you're gonna want to go to the top. I paused the video. My sister came in. Anyway, so what you're gonna want to go to the top is obviously put down the fill to zero. Okay, and then you go to bevel and emboss. Now this is the thing that is gonna make the background. I meant gonna make the item whatever you're using what it is. Okay, there's no brush effects, no textures, no nothing. It's just purely layer cells. Okay. Oh, voice crack. Anyway, you're going to want to change this to 50%. And you're going to want to change this one to 5. So keep it the same. 16. And go right here and click 11. And then you just want to keep everything the same. And then for the inner shadow you want to make it actually color burned okay so you can see that there's actually the darkening of the edges for the neon effect to play in and then you want to make the distance 5 and then the size 43 and it's gonna look very weird and that's what I was talking about that you may have to adjust it whenever you go to like 1280 or by 720 or whatever projects you're gonna use like the size of the landscape you're gonna have to adjust the size and possibly the distance okay and you wanna make this a hundred no wait you wanna make it 75 words <laughs> keep it the same okay now you wanna go to outer glow and this is the thing that uh, I had trouble with trying to figure out so I used color burn color dodge whoops and I changed this to 100. And then I, here's the thing. You want to go to right here, white. 
and then go size 250 and you probably can't see the effect but like like whenever you change it to 250 but whenever you go to outer glow and turn it off and on you can actually see how it changes the background it it actually brightens everything around it so it doesn't it doesn't actually show the white because it is so far spread out that it's just like basically invisible and it's just adding like the right area size of brightness around the item and you actually want to change this back to 75 my bad I, I just keep keep forgetting because there's so many numbers that uh, yeah I just kind of lose track but I am getting this right because I am remembering along the way so you can you can adjust it but uh, I like to keep it 75 and for the drop shadow you're actually just gonna keep this the same keep that the same but you're gonna change this to 19 and this to 32 it's gonna look weird but just trust me it, it works <laughs> it works okay now the last part it's very weird you're gonna do a color overlay of white and then linear dodge add and then put it down to about 50% or like however many percent you want I say 46 50 let's just go with 50 now the reason why I didn't do the bottom I'll show you guys now this is the weird part you go right here go to blur Gaussian blur okay and that's what makes it glow completely it looks so cool okay so 10 or let's go with 6 uh, eight, ten, maybe fifteen, uh, thirteen. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a good size. Eleven. Now let's just try eleven. Okay. Then you're gonna want to click Control J if you're on a Mac, or just duplicate layers again. And then you're gonna want to change this one to forty percent. Okay. Loading, come on. Okay, then duplicate layers again. And clear this layer style. Just clear it completely. And you're going to want to change the filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you want to make this 25, or however big it is. Let's go with 100. Who knows? Um, 50. Maybe. 30 you, you, you got to try to find a nice one so it actually like shows the edges darkened and all that making it nice and cool mm, 20 let's go 70 50 let's just let's just use 50 okay and if it still doesn't come out right you can go back and adjust your settings and a shadow Okay, distance. See, like you can adjust your settings right here to make it like darker. As I said, it looks too dark. Obviously, I'm gonna go right here. Keep it seventy-five. Color overlay. Let's go right. Right. 47 drop shadow out of glow opacity okay it's all good and you can just tweak with it you can do whatever you want with it 5 let's go let's see the difference let's go 3 okay now as you can see we're getting that like nice glow effect show that it's actually glowing Okay, and right here. Um, I don't like that. Right here. Delete clear layer style. Filter, Gaussian blur. Oh, no, nope, I don't want the same one. <laughs> blur, Gaussian blur. See what 100 does. 100 really makes it bright. Okay, let's see what 20 does. 
90. I mean, it, it does look weird because, like, it's blue on green, but I think 90 looks pretty good. Um, actually, let, let me, let me, let me save this as a different one, because I kind of want to figure out what I did for the last one. So, save as random. Open up, Actualized. Oh, pfft, crap, <laughs> I forgot. I can't do that because of, because, like, you can't see the Gaussian blur. I'm going to my ass. Okay, anyway, you get my point. <laughs> you can just, like, tweak with it a bit. If you want, guys, it may look different if you're using, like, a blue-styled one. And if you guys are wondering how I just randomly just opened that thing up to change the color without using color overlay, I just use Control-U or Command-U. And I learned that trick from a friend, Obey Rate, or Call Me Rated X, whatever you want to call him. And kind of looks cool with the blue neon effect and thank you guys so much for watching i will do tiger tuts tutorials uh, later in life as we move along on this journey and peace out